Hi students, welcome back. So we are discussing about the how to create and uh, run the program. So in the previous videos, I will explain how to write and uh, edit the program and next uh, compiling the program. The compiling the program I explain as a generic method. You can compile the program by using the GCC method also. So uh, how it is let us see actually the GCC what do you call this GCC method a GCC you it is nothing but a GNU compiler connection collection a GCC compiler is nothing but it is a GNU compiler collection is widely it is widely uh, regarded as is widely regarded as the most important important piece of free software the GCC compiler is widely regarded as a most important piece of free software it means it is a free software it can be uh, available uh, anyway and uh, you can easily download it freely and this gcc is one of the gnu compiler collections in a gnu is, uh, is a com company so in this co this company will providing some compilers collections so the mainly the gcc is used for the c program it, it is mainly written for the this compiler is used to execute the program is to uh, compile the programs that are written in the C language, C++ language, Java, Ada, okay, Fortran. So different programming languages can be compiled by using this GCC method. So GCC is nothing but it is a software. The software is it is widely regarded as the most important piece of free software. Formally, formally called as GNUC compiler the GCC now contains compilers so this GCC now contain compilers for the C C++ Fortran and uh, Java and other program programming languages so here the gcc contains the compilers for the these languages c c++ fortran java and other programming languages so actually this gcc programming has a compiler this gcc compiler consists of consists of front end middle end backend okay so uh, the whereas if you take the generic compiler the generic compiler is ho only having the front end and back end whereas this gcc compiler consists of front end middle end and the back end okay so here what it exactly do the compilation process for gcc let us see this First, it does the compilation process. How it will do the compilation process? How the GCC will do the compilation process? Let us see. So, first it construct. Construct an executable. First, it construct an executable image for an application. So, whatever the application we have written, that is a source file, that will be constructed as an image. Construct an executable image for that application. Next, that it has to follow the four stages. It has to execute that four stages. So, for executing that four stages, means the GCC method, you have to be write the program, compile the program, uh, linking the program and execute the program that is a loader so four stages for that you need a command so for every command you have to just write gcc in front of that 
command then it it follows the gcc method gcc option this is the syntax for this options and here the source file the source file dot c so if you want to execute of if you want to uh, compile that you have to write in front of that file name gcc options suppose source file dot c uh, suppose x is a file name x dot c x dot obj the c is the source file after that you are after compiling it converted into obj after that it compile it will be dot exe it is in the form of executable code so for everything uh, for every conversion for this state source file file name before the source file name you have to include the gcc so that is a command gcc options source file dot c okay so the compiler tool here it is the main compiler tool is here it follow the compiler to it's just slash gcc so this is a compiler tool for executing the programs okay. so let us see how the gcc method will follow for compilation compilation steps let me write this compilation steps of gcc compiler so if you take the gcc compiler what are the compilation steps it followed let us see so first will be you need a source file the source file will uh, you, you already written in a text editor so just you are giving the input for the compiler the input for the compiler is always the source file so the source code is in the form of dot c or dot cpp or it should be dot h like that means the file name dot c the file name dot cpp like that so this is the input here we are given now it is doing the pre-processing okay so after that it has to be compiled it has to be compiled compilation so the preprocessor is uh, used to uh, make the it is used to ready it helpful for ready uh, so whatever the source file is there that will be converted into not converted it is made, ready to make to convert okay the preprocessor is ready to make to convert so now the compilation will translate whatever the code that is ready for executing compiling okay so this includes all header and uh, expand micros macros everything so this will be in the form of dot i dot ll dot l or dot ll like that so after compilation assembler will there assembler assembler contains assembly code dot s okay so after that linking so up to here the program is completely converted into machine code so here up to here it is converted into machine code the high level language is converted into machine code now the this is a source file but this source file has to be linked with the library functions so now you have to include the static you have to link the static library functions that is dot lib dot a okay so up to here it is a machine code machine code dot o dot obj so here dot c program after that it is dot l program after that dot s the file name dot s after that it is converted into dot obj file the dot obj file will be linked with the dot library functions also then the finally it will be ready for the 
executable machine code executable machine code that is dot exe okay so these are the steps that are followed for compilation so everything completely everything is normal processor only so but instead of uh, uh, this is the generic uh, compilation process if you want to use the gcc compiler the steps you have to follow is step one a preprocessor that is a cpp and step two it use a compiler a compiler it is used is the gcc compiler it used so before everything the file name uh, it includes the gcc just a simple word gcc letters you have to be used gcc file name dot l gcc file name dot s gcc file name dot o dot obj like that here also step 3 assembler as will be taken and uh, step 4 linker it takes id okay so these are the steps that has to be followed for compilation of any c programming by using the gcc compiler so in the next video i will explain how to uh, link the program and how to execute the program